Hello, my name is Christian Elazar Picotor, your grade 9 science teacher. So, good morning my beautiful and handsome students. So, before we start our lesson, kindly lead the prayer, Master John. Okay, so in the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, who be your name, the kingdom come, the world done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who test against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, good day, my dear students. How's your day? How's your internet connectivity? Okay. So, are we all set? Are we all good? For our attendance, kindly turn on your camera to show your beautiful faces and handsome faces. Okay, so I'll take a screenshot. In 3, 2, 1, say Jollibee, okay? Say Jollibee! Yes! So, I think nobody is absent. Keep it up. Very good. Another week, another lesson. But before we proceed to our uh, topic for today, can anybody here recall what happens when a volcano erupts? Okay, so, any volunteer? Yes, Miss Grace. Yes, mm -hmm. well answered Miss Grace. Uh, we are now in quarter three, weeks three and four. Are we all excited for our topic for today? Yes, you have to be excited. Who among you here is familiar with thermal springs? Or are you all familiar with what a hot spring is? Mm -hmm. Yes, we love the soothing and energizing uh, effects of water from the hot springs, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's right. It's quite relaxing. And did you know that hot springs have health benefits? Okay, so let's have a quick trivia class. Huh? Hot springs are rich in sulfur, and its healing benefits include treating skin irritations and infections such as uh, rashes eczema and so for rich hot springs are also thought to help treat dry scalp arthritis pain and internal problems such as menopausal symptoms and digestive disorders all right so if anybody here wants to get treated uh, go find some hot springs and swim yes does anybody here knows where the heat of the hot springs came from? Okay, so Mr. Di Magiba. Uh, okay, so kindly answer the question. Wow, very good. Uh, Mr. Di Magiba, I think you really studied and did your research in advance about our topic for today. So let's give a round of applause to Mr. Di Magiba. Yes. So before we formally start our lesson, let's have a guess what word is this? Bravo! Excellent to you students. Our topic for today is all about geothermal energy. The reason why I was asking you lately uh, about hot springs and where does it hate came from because it is related to our topic for today about geothermal energy. Again, what is our topic for today? Yes, very good. Our earth is believed to be uh, extremely hot from within. This heat from the earth's interior is called, yes, geothermal energy. The word geothermal energy uh, came from the Greek words, uh, geo means earth. A thermi means heat. Therefore, it is the heat from the earth. Geothermal energy is energy that is stored deep within the earth that originates from the melted magma and the decay of the radioactive substances. Again, 
Where does the word geothermal came from, Miss Sakura? Okay, so the word geothermal and geothermal came from the Greek word geo means earth and thermi means heat. Very good. So let's continue. An example of geothermal energy is shown on your screen right now. Most geothermal energy uh, resources are usually found in the areas around the plate boundaries where most volcanic eruptions and earthquakes happen. In addition, uh, areas with active volcanoes have a high geothermal energy system. This is because the hot molten rock material called magma uh, located under the earth surface may lead to the circulating uh, groundwater. Again, areas with high active volcanoes have Yes, areas with ha uh, active volcanoes have a high geothermal energy system. So let's proceed on how geothermal energy is generated. Geothermal energy is generated in two ways. The first one is geothermal power plants. It is where heat from within the earth changes into steam which storms steam turbines that generate electricity. Geothermal power plants are found in places where it is particularly hot just below the surface, such as uh, near group of geysers, hot springs, or volcanic activity. They generate energy by carrying heat to the surface by a few fluid circulations through the various types of mechanics. Am I understood? Yes. Okay, so now let's discuss on how to generate electricity on geothermal power plants. The first one is uh, wells are drilled <coughs> deep into the earth to pump steam on hot water to the surface. Second one, when water reaches the surface, the drop in pressure causes the water to turn into steam. Step 3, the steam spins a turbine. Okay, so which is connected to a generator that produces electricity. Step 4, the steam will go to cooling tower and it will cool down and condenses back to water. And lastly, yes, the cold water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again. So that is how geothermal power plant works. Okay, so let's have it again, class. So let's do a recap all together. Wow! Excellent! You are all smart, my dear students. Very good. Okay, so take note of all those steps, okay? Next is the flow chart, which describes how energy is transformed uh, to generate electricity in a geothermal power plant. The first one is thermal energy from inside the earth. When we say thermal energy, it is also called the heat energy. It is produced when a rise in temperature causes atoms to collide with each other. Next is mechanical energy in a turbine and the mechanical energy of a generator. When we say mechanical energy, it is the energy that is possessed by an object due to its motion or position. And lastly, we have electrical energy. So, what do you mean by electrical energy? It is a form of energy resulting from the flow of electric charge. Okay, so again, let's say it again class on how energy is transformed. To generate electricity in the geothermal power plants yes very good so let's proceed to the second way to generate geothermal energy and it is true geothermal heat pump it removes uh, the heat from the fluid in the earth's connection uh, concentrates it and then transfer it into the building okay so now let's take a look 
at this photo. Okay, so now let's discuss how geothermal heat pumps works. Let's make it simple for you to understand. For heating, geothermal heat pumps removes the heat from the liquid in the earth connection, concentrates it, and then transfer it to the building. On a hot day, the system runs in reverse. The water or the refrigerant cools the building and then is pumped under the ground where extra heat is transferred to the ground around the pipes. Okay, so one more time. Can you repeat the process on how it works all together? Yes. Okay. Very good. So take note of all those steps, okay? I think all of you really understand uh, our topic, the steps on how to generate electricity on a power plant and how geothermal power pumps works. So do you have any questions? clarification or violent reactions yes okay so if none so let's have an activity okay so now kind of check your group chat uh, I have already sent the group divided the class into two uh, I'll give you time to go to your groupings so are we all set let's start <coughs> so I have here two pictures one is geothermal power plant and one is geothermal heat pumps so each group uh, will be assigned to discuss the steps on how geothermal power plants generate electricity and how geothermal heat pumps work so each group is given five minutes to present their answer to the class so am i clear Okay, so time starts now. So time's up. Let's proceed to the reporting class. Make sure you choose one reporter to present your uh, report and the, to the class. The excellente, excellente, very good, well reported by. My dear students, so what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of geothermal energy class? Mm -hmm. It is renewable, less pollution, and it is uh -huh, environmental friendly. So very good. So how about its disadvantages? Yes, it requires proper supervision to maintain its stability and sustainability it also causes minor earthquakes oh my god so as a result of digging yes you are all right my dear students very good so now let's have a recap for our topic for today so the word geothermal comes again from the greek words geo means earth and thermi means <coughs> heat Therefore, it is the heat from the earth. Geothermal energy is generated in how many ways? Yes, in two ways. The first one is, yes, geothermal power plant. And the second one is geothermal heat pumps. And we also learned the steps on how geothermal power plants generate electricity and how geothermal heat pumps works which was reported very clear by our dear reporter okay so very good reporters since you already know our topic the on how geothermal energy works so let's have a short quiz okay so go to our google classroom and write your answer there because i have already posted the questions okay yes am i clear okay very good okay so for your assignment you have to research in advance about the factors affecting climate am i clear class okay so do you have any questions okay so if no questions 
So that's all for today. I hope you have learned something from our lesson for today class. Goodbye everyone and have a nice day ahead. Thank you.